Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use custom input which is given in Hacker Earth and how you can use it to your advantage to have a better chance at contest. So I'm pretty sure most of you already know about this by now but I still feel like there are a lot of students out there who do not know of this feature because as I've noticed that in the comment section if you just go to the comment section of any problem during a contest especially during circuits since you'll see a lot of students there are asking for test cases, asking for corner test cases and they simply don't know where their test, where their code is going wrong because for example uh, I did a contest April circuits and so initially I had this code and it was giving as you can see wrong answer for everything but for the sample input it was giving the correct answer so I had no idea where, where it was going wrong because as you know that the test cases are hidden during the contest so in that case what you can do is you can use the custom input option so basically in the custom input so as you can see there are a lot of people asking for worst cases uh, corner cases but you don't need to do that you can there's a option of custom input so for example I'll just copy in my code for last time the code which went wrong and I'll show you like how I was able to find the case on which I was going wrong and then I changed my approach according to that because I was able to find that yeah in this case it's failing so if I just simply copy my code which I had earlier for this problem so let's say I provide some custom input anything so a b a b a or let's see there are no numbers given yeah we have to give numbers also so so I have three test cases let's say five and a b a b a say six b a b a B A and let's say one two three four five six seven eight let's take eight ones so eight B B A A A B B A so I'm taking all these test cases and if I do compile and test using provide test cases or provide custom input just give it a minute yeah so you see it is giving wrong answer and it's explaining why it's giving wrong, wrong answer because it's saying that your code's output is this but the expected correct output is this so it's basically telling you that the correct output is this which is to be expected but your code is not giving that which you won't find in the test case because the test cases are hidden so you can just type a lot of test cases here but and you'll see that for some it's passing so if I just say uh, 4 if I say B A B A if I say 4 if I say A B A B then you'll see that for this it's passing yeah so what you can do is you can type a lot of like if you're sure that you, you're not able to figure out where your code is going wrong or if you're not able to find a test case or if you simply want more example test cases if you haven't even figured out an approach then what you can do is simply write anything for example I'll just show if you want more test cases because see there are only what one test case given having four so you can just simply do anything here like you can simply say while t minus minus you can just take in the input and after taking the input we just simply say print anything for example I'll just show you yeah so this is the code so suppose I'm not able to get any approach so I'll just say that I just took in whatever input is needed to be taken or in the scene I'll just say hello and I'll say end line now I simply type a lot of say random test cases which I'm not sure what the answer will be with my approach so suppose I type 5 I type 7 B a B A B let's keep it three so I type A B A B B B A and I type B B A A B B and I type A B B A so suppose I'm confused in these examples what the answer will be then it is going to show you well your code's output is well whatever you put but it's going to show you the expected correct output so that's the main thing and this this will happen during the contest so during the contest if you're not satisfied with the example test cases given here 
or if you feel like you don't know where your test case where your code is going wrong then you can just use custom input and just do a brainstorm session on finding a lot of test cases and after that you'll find out where you're going wrong and you'll be able to figure out the bug in your logic and if i'm to tell you about this itself so for example removal of vertices so this was one question that i was able to do mainly because of custom input because if i just show you in the custom input here i was able to i've i've shown this in my video before but i'll show it again so in here like if i typed let's just see yeah so in here i typed a lot of test cases for example i typed 4 0 6 0 8 0 10 0 12 0 so i just typed these test cases and i typed a lot more but i'll just show you this so it showed me what the correct output is and here i saw a pattern and based on that pattern i was able to formulate my approach so using custom input if your code is going wrong then you can find out where it's going wrong or otherwise if you're not able to get an approach or if you simply want more test cases with answers then you can simply type a lot of random test cases in the custom input and with that you can move forward so that's it i'm pretty sure most of you already know this but just in case if you didn't well then there's a good thing thank you